application of professors which means it is primarily the display of food on a buffet for a group of guests in this the two points in classroom instructions the common method used by teacher is the chalk and talk type but in many situations it is not very effective The teacher then has to explore new methods and media for effective teaching learning. In the first slide that we have here, we see how food is displayed by means of hot plates and the latest style of reshuffle dishes, which are meant for reheating. The effectiveness of visual like presentation has been recognized since long. Experience and research have shown that a considerable part of learning takes place through the sense of sight compared to the sense of hearing, smell, touch and taste. Audiovisual aids may be classified as projected and non-projected. The aids which can be projected on the screen are overhead transparencies, slides, and film strips, etc. Whereas non-projected aids are textbooks, charts, and models, etc. In this program, the use, design, and preparation of slides and film strips will be discussed. This is what a slide looks like. And a film strip. Slides and film strips are images of any object when these are projected with the help of a projector in a dark room. A bright and magnified image is seen on the screen. Film strip is a series of slides in sequence to show a step-by-step -step process. Slides are extensively used in teaching learning for presenting object in detail, flowchart, bar chart, sectional view. map magnified view graph text material Realia and other motivating visuals. Film 
strips are more useful for showing any process in steps. It helps in progressive building up of a sequence. Slides and film strips can be photographic or non-photographic, but photographic slides are most common. Slides are available in two formats. In full frame, the picture size is 24 by 36 millimeters and size after mounting is 50 by 50 millimeters. Whereas, viewing portion of slides in half frame is 18 by 24 millimeters. Most of the film strips are produced in single frame with individual frame size in the ratio 3 is to 4 and in double frame the size ratio is 2 is to 3. The planning and designing of slides and film strips can be done in a four step process. Statement of purpose, content outline, treatment and scripting. The first step is to state objectives clearly considering the audience who will see them. Secondly, prepare a content outline after expressing your idea and limiting the topic. Write treatment for organizing the contents and sketching a storyboard for better visualization. Prepare script and make arrangements for preparation. Now let us study how slides and film strips are prepared by photographic technique. In this technique, the equipment needed includes 35mm single reflex camera with normal lens or macro lens for enlargement, zoom lens for close-up focusing, tripod stand to support the camera. Copying stand to produce slides from textbooks and magazines. For taking close-up pictures, extension bellows, extension tubes and close-up lenses. And powerful electronic flash for emitting the right amount of light. Negative film is used for making black and white slides and reversal film for color. The first step in making slides and film strips by photographic method is picture taking or shooting. For this, Black and white or color film is loaded in the camera. Focusing is done and the picture is clicked. Negative film exposed in the camera is rewinded and taken out.
Different methods of processing are used for black and white and color film, but in both the cases, processing is done in a dark room. First of all, we will study the processing of black and white slides. Let us see what is being done in the dark room. The film is removed from the carton in complete darkness. This is then washed with water and put in the developer. After developing, the fixing is done and the film is again washed in running water. Finally, a wash in dilute acid is given and the film is kept for drying in a dryer at a temperature slightly more than room temperature and the negative is ready. For making the positive from this negative, the process is carried out in red light. Slide printer is the equipment used for re-exposing the print on the positive film. Dye positive film stored in a box protected from light is taken out and kept above the negative. Slide printer is closed and exposure is given for a few seconds to transfer the image on positive film. The positive thus obtained is developed again in the same manner as the negative and dried manually or in film dryer. For black and white slides and film strips, we start with the negative film which is exposed in camera and developed in the dark room. The negative is then ready which is exposed on the positive film. Positive is developed and on cutting and mounting 
we get a series of slides, otherwise film strips. Now let us study the processing of color slides and film strips. The actochrome film is taken out of the camera. It is loaded on a roll in a dark room. And then put inside a black box. After that, the lights can be switched on. For making color slides, E6 process is used. Processing is done in various steps. All the chemicals to be used for processing are kept in a water bath maintained at a temperature of 40 degrees centigrade. Temperature indicator is used to note the temperature from time to time. The first developer contains potassium hydroquinone monosulfonate. This is added to the vessel containing film. Then it is stirred vigorously for 6 minutes. And poured back into the bottle. First wash with water is given for 2 minutes. Then the reversal bath containing propanic acid is used in a similar manner for 2 minutes. Similarly, color developer is used for 6 minutes, conditioner for 2 minutes, bleach for 7 minutes and fixer for 4 minutes. Then final wash is given for 4 minutes to clean the negative and stabilizer is applied for 1 minute. The color film thus processed is taken out from the black box and stripped off from the roll.
This is then dried manually or in a dryer. After processing, the positive film is kept as a roll for film strip sequence, but for slides it is cut into individual frames and mounted. Mounting may be done manually. Mounts could be made of cardboard or plastic. Mounting can also be done automatically and the process is very fast. It is generally used by commercial slide makers. Let us have a close look at the slide prepared by us. Recently developed processing kits have simplified the process of making slides. The method is quickest but not the cheapest and is more useful for confidential information. With the advent of improved technology, slides are made nowadays with the help of computers. For this, a separate unit known as personal film recorder system with inbuilt camera is attached to the personal computer and computer graphics are transferred to the film loaded in the camera. The processing can be done by the usual E6 method. Let us discuss preparation of slides by non-photographic method. These may be produced by typing with a typewriter directly on acetate sheets, copying with Xerox copier, writing directly with OHP markers. In some cases, negative of the slide itself can be projected in the darkroom. The task of a teacher does not finish after preparation. It is very essential to store the slides and film strips after previewing. Slides can be stored in plastic frames or wooden boxes. The film strips are stored in plastic boxes. The slides and film strips are projected in the classroom with the help of various types of projectors, manual or automatic. Thus, slides and film strips provide a cheap and easy to use medium to enhance the quality and effectiveness of classroom presentation. If properly designed and prepared, they not only motivate the students, but also result in improved learning.